One, two, touch, touch. The following video was brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Save 10% on world-class hosting or any GoDaddy product when using the code POD88 at checkout. Now, the latest and greatest from the Jiggy Jaguar. Get more info at JiggyJaguar.info. <laughs> Back here on KJagRadio.com. I'm, of course, Jigman Freud. We're out here at the W. And uh, hometown boys in town, Brett Riley's in the building. And uh, I'm going to get the heck out of the way with people with talent talk. Brett, What's up? tell me about uh, what you're doing here tonight, brother. You're back in town and big comedy extravaganza. What's up, homie? Yeah, everything's uh, going really good. I yeah. definitely can't complain. I'm happily busy. Uh, Happily busy. Got yeah. stuff going on. Living in L.A., uh, doing all the major comedy clubs in L.A., and uh, got some TV stuff that's coming up. I can't. Yeah. I can't really go you into can't any. Tell me. Can't go into any detail because I signed a contract <laughs> that said that. But uh, things are going good. I just wanted to come back to my hometown and uh, celebrate, basically, uh, with, uh, with everybody. friends and family, and just have a good time. <laughs> I always have a good time when I'm in Hutch, and. Um, I don't know. It's uh, it's been going good. When did you start doing comedy, brother? I've been doing comedy for twelve years, and I'm thirty two. So I started when I was twenty, and the club owner wasn't happy because I <laughs> he found out when we celebrated my twenty first birthday that I'd been in there with a fake ID. So ah. he didn't like that very much. <laughs> Not but uh, yeah. So no, I mean, uh, been doing it for twelve years. Um, stuff really has progressed yeah. well. Uh, been out in L.A. for. I think I've been performing in L.A. for six, but I've been living there for just under five. How was it when you first got out there? It was really good. Like uh, my my uh, my first year goals was yeah. to be recognized at all the major comedy clubs in the That's first cool. year, and that happened in the first three months. Wow! So things went well, and um, everything started to progress. And then, right when everything was going real good. I showcased at the comedy store, um, and a bunch of network people and whatever bigwig people were shaking my hand, going, "Hey, we love it. A white guy that can do different demographics, yeah. and you do, you can sing, and you do the the, the voices and all that stuff. That's, That's cool. great. We can definitely mess with you. Hey, later this week we'll meet and we'll uh, sign some contracts. The next night I almost died in a car wreck. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I got hit by a 19-year-old kid, no driver's license. Yeah. Um, T-bone me, ruptured my diaphragm, wow. my guts were behind my lungs, fractured my pelvis. I was purple from the neck down. I fractured my pelvis in three places. So I tell people that God likes me because the x-ray looked like this. It was crack, 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 but nothing shifted. So I didn't have to get any plates or anything. I basically spent four months in a beanbag chair. And uh, my girlfriend's a nurse, so she That's cool. nursed me back to health. And she's really beautiful and out of my league, so I'm lucky there too. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, but finally, three years later, um, I'm finally back to that same position that I was in, where That's people cool. are starting to uh, really take notice and stuff. Just That's trying to cool. raise my visibility. It's kind of weird being a guy from Kansas and living in L.A. Cause yeah. like, I, it's like a big high school out there. I'm not, I don't know, I'm just not very Hollywood. Like, people are like... You're not one of the cool kids. I, well, no, I am. What's cool is that I am kind of one of the cool kids because they accept me and I've been people have treated me very well. Yeah. It's just... Like, when I get into the conversations where people are like, yeah, man, you need to get out and network more. I'm like, I look like every white guy in a cubicle across the country. <laughs> like, unless people see what I do on stage, yeah. nobody's like, he, you know what? That's the guy. He's yeah. awesome. Like, that's not no, yeah. yeah. I mean, I just, I, I network, but I'm kind of, I kind of take a different approach, which is like my, my, uh. My slogan, my motto, my brand is uh, FTF, which stands for forget the formula, because there's really, like, we can plan all we want, but there is no but formula. Is no formula. Oh, yeah, to yeah. being successful or being happy, you just have to, like, be passionate about what you're doing and make it happen. So uh, that's my stuff. But, I mean, that's really kind of like after almost dying, that really, uh, nothing really gives you clarity, like coming face to face with your own mortality. Yeah. Like, if Steve Jobs is a perfect example. Yeah. Doesn't matter how big of an innovator you are, how much money you have, how much your status, there is no status that we can reach that will escape our own mortality. I mean, that's a brilliant man that changed the world and he's gone at 56. So, and I realized I could have been gone 
you know, and um, I don't know. I just feel really blessed to be able to do what I do. I mean, I'm going to go up here and talk in, my, in front of my hometown about... Before I let you go, bro, yeah. how do we find you on the internet? Find me, Facebook, all uh, if you want to find me on Twitter, Facebook, all of the above, uh, go to brettreilly.com. Two T's, Brett like Favre, Riley like Pat Riley. <laughs> That's how I tell people. I know that I've had too many drinks at a show when I go, it's Brett like Favre, Riley like Pat. Okay. <laughs> no, but it's, it's R-I-L-E-Y. And then uh, just uh, look me up. And then the, it, that links everything to Facebook, cool. Twitter. Haven't gotten so savvy with the internet yet. So yeah. everything, it's pretty, it's pretty much like an electronic press kit. It's like That's a really, cool. it's like a, looks like a boy band picture. It's just me like, like it's not my choice. I was trying. I was trying at the time. Uh, I was listening to some people that were trying to give me career advice. And it was not good. But anyway. But anyway, right, bro. check it out. Well, I'm going to let you Thank go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Get out there. Appreciate Thanks it. for watching. KJ Green. Brucey, jump in there and tell us what's going on. Okay, I'm going to tell you what's going on. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment and like our videos. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And check out our website.